Hi. Hello. Good to see you. It's just like this couch. I know, over. it's very comfy, isn't yeah, it, yeah. though? I just want to take a nap now, which is a problem. <laughs> um, okay, so obviously, personal history of David Copperfield, very exciting. Yeah. Very different to, I think, a character that maybe you might be best known for, which is Anwar from Skins, which obviously Yikes. is lodged in the cultural zeitgeist, I think. Yeah. I know. Um, for better or worse. So awkward. <laughs> Can't get away from it. it. Are you trying? Uh, no, no, I'm really, I mean, I just love everyone on that show. Yeah. And, um, I wouldn't be here without it. Um, but looking back on it, it's the most cringeworthy thing I've ever done. I was just chewing up the scenery and just had this little weird, like, <laughs> bum fluff stash. I don't even know if I can say that. You can, but it's was, fine. Yeah, my big floppy out ears, and it was just madness. It was know? definitely, like, of its era, yeah, I feel. Yeah. And one of the things I think that was so interesting about it. A lot of hormones. It, a lot of hormones, but also, <laughs> like, predates social media. How do you yeah. think it would have changed yeah, if like you were making it now? Yeah, it was like chat rooms and stuff, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. do you think, how different do you think it would be if you tried to make that now with, like, all the social media we have? Uh, it's, like, really different. I watched this show... This American show called Euphoria. Mm, yeah, yeah. And I was like, God, man, we did like the old school version, and now they've like the cameras moving everywhere. It's so amazing. Everyone looks gorgeous. The mm. eight packs, and you know, the social media coming on the screen, mm. the writing, and all that. It's like, wow, I think it's just really changed. You know? Yeah, really yeah. Has. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it was something about that kind of lo-fi. Really no, dude, same. Yeah. It's so <laughs> fun. I was like, oh my God, skin's retro retrospective. Yeah, God, that no. sounds like, it sounds so old. But it's not. It's still, I feel like it still resonates and has an impact with people, obviously, because it's still loved, I think, by so many. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I can't get away from it. So. <laughs> um, what do you think, if you could imagine what Anwar was doing now, because obviously when he left, he was like going off on this journey. Where do you think he would be now? Um... Where would he be? Hmm. Probably be drugged out in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> I don't no know. No hope for Anwar. I don't, yeah, yeah. He was the lost. He's like a little horny chihuahua. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's that's a horny chihuahua. That is a good example. Yeah. Um, so it's been said that Anwar was written especially for you in that role. Um, so did you have kind of any input in shaping his direction or? Nope. No, nothing at Just all. Just got the script. Oh, and wow. I was like, okay. I'll be doing that today. Was there any time where you were like, oh, I don't know about that? All the time. <laughs> but you just kind of dive into it. It's mm. just like, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously you said you've been watching Euphoria. How do you think Skins has kind of impacted that genre of like young adult television? Uh, I th I'm sh I mean, um, they're very, I'm sure they probably haven't even seen it. Uh, I think Augustine Frizzell, who is one of the directors of the episode I saw. So who directed this? She's just was incredible mm. and uh, uh you know i think there needs to be more female directors but you know yeah behind the screen and, and and shepherding stuff like this but it was so kinetic and, mm. and well told but i i guess they're all each each to their own mm. yeah, i yeah. think for it me it just encapsulated mm. a teenager experience mm -hmm. that i thought was kind of really cool yeah. yeah and watching it in the states obviously i'm used we were used to seeing shows like one tree hill or yeah. uh where it, oc and all that yeah, yeah where you're watching these actors who are meant to be 16 and you're like you're obviously like 25 yeah, yeah. so i think skins was quite different in that respect yeah, what we was that like for you plucked, i mean there was like nick and, and and stuff like that um um who had acted before but a lot of us were just plucked from nowhere mm. you know like i ended up my mum saw an advert in the metro the newspaper and I'd never done professional acting in my life, mm. which you can see when you watch it. <laughs> I think it'd be a I little harsh on yourself. But it it um it had this real rawness to it. Mm. It's like it's kind of real rough around the edges. Yeah. And they didn't polish that out of us, um, which I think a lot of people responded to. Mm. Do you still stay in touch with any of the co-stars from? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And I'm really bad actually because I'm the worst com like, at communicating. But they're all very kind and uh and forgiving of me mm. but uh yeah i hung out with joe last time i was in london nice had some chicken and chips and, and <laughs> chatted about the good old days and uh yeah they're all just lovely yeah, yeah and yeah, you've yeah. all seemingly gone on to kind of doing more exciting and different diverse everyone's roles. doing great things yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah which is which is awesome yeah. Um, so speaking of new and exciting things personal history of david copperfield um obviously very different to playing Anwar and Skins. When you were back there, did you ever kind of imagine yourself being cast in a film like this? No. I mean, just to be employed is great. You never, after everything you do, you're like, am I ever going to work again? Mm. <laughs> uh, so to still be working is quite nice. And um, to be working with this great cast is like, 
Yeah, it's a real blessing. Yeah. Um, so what was the favorite, kind of your favorite scene to film? Okay, the favorite scene I got to film was watching Peter Capaldi, um, aka Doctor Who. Yep. Um, he kind of uh, pretends to be this um, teacher in this school and yeah. he's turned up uh, and he plays this real kind of rambunctious, kind of lively character. And and Iron Bernard, who's another actor in the scene, wonderful actor, he he kind of asks, what lesson should I be teaching today? And Iron's like Latin grammar. And then he kind of has to riff on all the Latin words he knows and he's kind of making a fool of himself. And he kind of is walking up and down this classroom and it was just the funniest thing to watch for like four hours. Peter Capaldi, just this comedic genius, mm -hmm. just totally just chew up the set and he was amazing. Couldn't keep a straight face. I was gonna say, how many takes did it take you to get through that? Ah, it's a lot, it's a yeah. lot, yeah. And it was, as you say, it's like a, such a big name cast where you, th was this the first time you'd worked with many of those people? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause there's also, I'm gonna forget her name and I feel really bad doing this, from this country who plays... Daisy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was great. I yeah, saw her, I was yeah, like, oh my yeah. God, I saw her, oh, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. so funny. And that's the thing about it, it's like, it's so many different styles of performance mm. in this. And that's what's great. We did this two week rehearsal process and everyone came in with their own kind of cadence and their own kind of comedic timing. And some of them were more physical, some of them were dry. And it kind of, it just is, brings this diversity, which is what we see out there in the streets. Yeah, it's yeah. so alive and real. Yeah, it's definitely a different way of, a di it's a different tactic of kind of accomplishing the same goal of having representation in a movie because instead of having a story that's explicitly told for certain types of characters to bring their stories through, you kind of take this classic tale and instead you're like just wiping it yeah. totally clean and yeah. starting with whomever you want to put in that Absolutely. in that film, which was, yeah, it was, it was very reflective, yeah. I think, of the day we're living in now. Well, you speak about it better than me. <laughs> So let me, yeah, let's do it. This is all skins. I'm okay. afraid that, oh, okay. I mean, here, you could ask me a question. Okay. I can't answer it for you, so, but I'll try. Okay. If there was a skins reboot. Yeah. Okay, it says, could it work today? Could what it work do today? Think? Do yeah. I think a skins reboot? Who would you put in a new skins? Who would I put in a new skins reboot? I mean, can I put you back in it? Because well, I think I'd that'd be hilarious. It, no, yeah. you wouldn't You need one it. bad actor in it. <laughs> it's not going to be you. Um, okay, who would I put? I mean, it would just. I, Let's I don't put know. Harry Styles. Okay, in there, we could put right? Harry like, Styles in there. He would definitely bring an audience. Yeah, exactly. I think people would turn out to watch yeah. him in that. Um, we need those like those flare trousers. Yeah, oh, that, that guy's got that some look. fashion. Do you think you could pull that off? No, look at me. What, why like, not? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting. Yeah. You could definitely. You could try. Uh, right, yeah. we could all try. Um, yeah. Who Have else? I totally hijacked this? No, no, no. It's fine. It's totally cool. We're easy, right? What was the the most shocking thing that your character kind of had to overcome for you because it's definitely a tale it says from riches from rags to riches and back again and it really is that kind of like boom, 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 boom. so what was the most kind of interesting thing for your character that you had to mm. deal with emotionally uh, i don't know man i think it was all uh, the hardest thing for me was just like balancing that real kind of broader physical humor and trying to find a grounding to it mm. and it's very dense mm. my script was over 200 pages and growing and uh it's just it's dense with dialogue and it's still old Dickensian mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. And to try and throw it away, you know, mm -hmm. when you're still saying like, oh, Agnes, I adore you. But it's like, instead of doing it like that, you yeah. know, Agnes. Like, yeah. To throw it away and live in it was yeah. kind of um, the challenge to not- Did the clothes and, help you with that? Try and do a Downton Abbey or something. Right. Yeah. Did the clothes help you kind of get into yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Added to the awkwardness, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite outfit? man i actually hated wearing a the thing the hat yeah yeah i don't know like i mean you're already quite tall i, I feel like the doorways ears, yeah so they kind of end up it kind of rests on my ears and does right, this thing like that right um but i didn't like wearing the hat it kind mm. of is um but it was all really cool yeah. yeah were there any kind of acting lessons obviously you said you kind of were plucked out of quote unquote obscurity to join skin so what were the biggest kind of lessons that you took from being in that kind of show with you and your other roles? What lessons? Mm. I, 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 mainly I just kind of saw, and it sounds really sad saying, but like an opportunity missed. Like mm. I was so enthralled by meeting all these cool young people and having new friends. And I was in school at the time and it, I didn't really understand what the acting part element mm. was. I was just nervous and overdoing it. And, and now I went to do a film off that with this great filmmaker, Danny Ball, and he kind of taught me the kind of essence of stillness and. Mm kind of screen acting and so I wish I could go back to that and 
always i guess but yeah does that make sense yeah yeah, yeah it makes sense i think th- what's interesting that you're saying that though is that teenagers do have that kind of manic mm. they just it's like they're going like this all the time and they never really stop so i think it it's so interesting it kind of that you say that yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 you're right yeah yeah so maybe maybe not nothing maybe nothing, okay. nothing. you learned thing. nothing <laughs> okay yeah oh that's great probably um, a better haircut for sure what then you had then oh, you yeah. wouldn't go back i had to the fresh prints like will smith like you know yeah real buzz short yeah, on the side yeah, and yeah. like a lot of height up front i mean i think you could pull and it you off. know that kind of real crunchy hair gel yeah yeah i still use that crunchy hair gel. You? yeah you got to scrunch out the crunch yeah. that's the whole thing really yeah but then it gets all crumbly that one i used to use a really uh, okay. cheap one you know it's yeah, like well, that might be one. looks like jelly yeah yeah, yeah. and, and it's, it's like, like in a tub yeah get that little yeah, yeah, yeah. The flick at the front yeah. well like you're wearing a little cap but yeah, it's made yeah. out of yeah, your yeah. hair it's your hair it's like yeah. real like a no it's, you just gotta get good gel you can like yeah good gel just scrunch out the crunch. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's okay, crunch, crunch. crunch. <laughs> Was there anything about uh, personal history of David Copperfield that you think people might not know about it upon like first glance at the trailer or the poster? Uh, I really think that we've just got assembled our Avengers of British acting and like they're just so funny. Mm. And like to watch Hugh Laurie, a comedic great that I grew up watching and my dad did yeah. come in and you know, he's in a scene bouncing off Tilda Swinton and it's like... Armando's taken the stiffness of what you think is a period film and it's given it a buoyancy and a vibrancy and a humor that is just, it's so, so cool.